So hi and welcome to this video. So today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be loading our program into the load program function. So let's get started. So the first thing we need to do is we need to open up our um, our file. So it's really simple in Python. We do the open function to open the file and I'm just going to pass the parameter of the file. So in this case it's argv and I'm actually going to call it uh, f, no actually I'll just keep, keep it the way it is. So that's the way that's uh, what our file name that represents our file name the argv variable. And what we're doing is we're passing it to the open function so it knows uh, how to what file to open. We're going to call the open function f so that we can uh, refer to it afterwards. Uh, basically, what I mean by that is we can say f dot close now because you have to close the file when you open it. So now we've opened the file, closed the file, and we want to do something in between. So I'm going to say, um, let's say. Uh, f2 just first okay we'll say lines actually equals uh, f dot read and then what I'm gonna what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna print lines and this will just print out the contents of the file so we need to provide it with a file to open so in my case I'm gonna provide it with uh, hello dot vm and we hit enter and as you can see it prints out the contents of our file as you can see up here so what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, get rid of that and what we're going to do is we're going to say so what we're going to do is we're going to replace new lines with uh, spaces so we're just going to use the replace function and we're going to say replace new lines with spaces and I'm going to print lines again and as you can see nothing will happen because we don't have any new lines we only have one, one line in our file so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put anything underneath here and as you'll see it gets put on the same line because it's tree it gets the new line gets converted into a space. So then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna split the file or the instructions um, by spaces. So I'm gonna say lines equals lines dot split. And this is gonna convert it into a this is gonna convert our string into a list uh, and each uh, item in the list is gonna be an instruction. So now if I print uh, lines and I uh, run this again. As you can see now, it converts it into a list, and every single instruction is um, an, a list item. This allows us to uh, manipulate the, uh, I mean, execute the instructions a lot easier. So what we're going to do is we're just going to delete that, and then we're going to go down here and return lines. So now, since we've returned that, what we can say is um, we can assign the load program function to a variable. So let's just say, um, let's call it L because that's uh, short for lines and we're going to set L equals the re uh, return value of this function which is the uh, list containing each of our instructions. Then we're going to uncomment execute program and we're going to pass it the L variable because we've uh, loaded the program and we've uh, split the instructions up into different items so that we can actually uh, do something with them. So I'm going to copy the name of the function and I'm going to go down here and create it. Um, I'm just going to put a print in there now just to get, make sure we don't have any errors and I'm going to pass it the variable L. This can be a different variable actually but uh, it doesn't actually matter. So uh, what we actually need to do is we need to, I'll leave it like that so that we can uh, run it without any errors. We need to actually create our instructions. So the first instruction is going to be 0, 0. So this is going to be, uh, it's, these are called, uh, these instructions are actually called operators. So what I'm going to say is op underscore uh, end of program, which is EOP for uh, short. It's going to be equal to the string 0, 0. And it's important that there's strings, uh, and I'll tell you why later. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to paste, go down here, and I'm going to paste end of instruction. So this is number two. Or, uh, well, this is the uh, second instruction, but it's number one actually. And then what I'm going to say is uh, op push is going to be uh, zero two, and we're going to do this for every instruction. And we've got two more to do, so we'll just do add and subtract. And we'll call this one five and this one six. Okay, now we can get rid of these. 
And what we're going to do is we're going to uh, start executing our program. It's not going to be this simple. I mean, the execute one is going to be kind of complicated, but hopefully it won't be too bad. So what we're going to say is, um, well, the execute program function is basically just a big while loop that goes through every instruction and then executes it as it sees it. So the way this is going to work is we're going to say, um, so what we're actually going to do is we're going to create a variable called loop. We're going to set that equal to zero or to one. And then what we're going to do is we're going to create a while loop and we're going to say while loop equals one. Then we're going to execute the program. So we'll say print hello. So inside this while loop, what we're going to say is instruction equals l, and then we're going to pass it the uh, parameter i. And what i is going to be equal to up here is zero, and i is just an iterator variable. So it, um, it's just a variable that's going to increase with each instruction. So what we're saying is i equals zero at the beginning. So um, instruction equals the first item in the array. Then what we're going to do actually is we're going to say, get rid of print hello. We're going to say if uh, instruction equals equals uh, op end of program, then we're going to say do end of program, which is just a function we're going to run. And then we're going to say elif, and this is basically all the uh, virtual machine is. It's a big while loop with an elif condition in it. And we're going to say if uh, elif it equals end of instruction, we're going to uh, do end of instruction. And we'll actually get rid of that. Here we're going to say push. Here we've got to say pop. And then we've got print add and sub left. So we'll say print. Add. And then we finally got sub. Okay, and then, um, well, we could have an else. The else could actually end the loop, but the problem with that is uh, if the else ends the loop, for example, if, if it's none of these, which means if it's not an instruction, so say for example, it was this number, it would end the loop uh, straight away. So we'll leave it like that. So what the end of program is going to do is it's going to obviously end the program. So instead of that, we, can, we don't need to actually have um, a uh, function for that. We just say loop equals zero. And we actually have an added one into our program. So we can just add zero, zero at the end of it. And it will end, end our program after that. So uh, end of instruction, we're going to create that function now. Um, yeah, okay, we'll create that function now. So we'll go way above here and we'll say, uh, actually we'll go in between here. So we'll say uh, do underscore end of instruction. We actually have to create that as a function. And we'll say print EOI. And then we'll just do that for each of these. Finally, we've got sub, and we just need to change these in here. So it's a sub, add, print, pop, and then finally, push. So what we're gonna do now is we're going to uh, execute this. So we're gonna say, run the program, and okay, we've got a problem that says push forever. The reason it does is because we aren't incrementing the i uh, variable. So what we're going to say just underneath this is i plus equals one, which means uh, increment increment i by one. So we're going to run this now, and as you can see, it says push and instruction print. Uh, so here we say push. Uh, this one doesn't have a command, obviously because it's just a number. 
uh, this one says end of instruction, this one says print, and this one says end of instruction or end of program, but it doesn't have a function, it just exits the loop. And we could just say print and end of program just to show you. Um, and as you can see, it says push, end of instruction, print, end of program. So that's it for this video. Don't forget to like, comment, favorite, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.